Yeah, now what how the, the ones that move you along, these paths are not irrelevant. These are the paths that happen when you have an expectation of things that are going to happen in the future. So when like let's assume demand hasn't changed today and the price rises. So then what happens is you move up to one of these paths that are going like this. And you follow that path for a while. That's this kind of that's the boom period. The boom period is this period where we're moving up like this. And then eventually what'll happen is then this demand curve will shift you'll hit the straddle path for that new equilibrium and then you'll move down that one. So you'll eventually, you'll link this unstable trajectory up to a stable trajectory. So I'm not saying that this path is irrelevant. It in fact would apply if the future was going to be different than today. But still, even in that problem, there's a unique price you can start with at the beginning. You have to, in that case, you have to find the starting point that when it goes along this explosive path, it hits the saddle path at the right date. Right? So what happens is, if, if I have to hit the saddle path a very long time from now, then the price can only go up a teeny bit because I have to take a path that takes me very slowly toward that new saddle path. Everybody see what's going on? I got to converge that new saddle path real slowly because I can't hit, I got to hit that saddle path. Now, when this path hits the saddle path, it's going to hit it closer to the new equilibrium than this one does, which means the further we're learning in advance, the more we're going to build in advance. We're the closer we're going to get to the new steady state. And that was the point I was making before. So you see how it works? So you can actually, I don't know if you guys do this in the other classes, but you could actually link up. You could figure out like how you get there. Now the, when you want to solve one of these problems on a computer, the way you solve them is you guess a price and you look at what happens and you say, whoop, that price was too high. And then you guess it a little lower price and then it, you know, what happens is, and you'll never find one that really gets you to steady state. What will happen is you'll run the model forward and you'll get really close to the steady state, and then at the last minute, it'll just, it'll just fly off on you. And that's what will happen. But you're getting close to the right solution if you can approximate that steady state for a while. 